What's up, guys? Welcome back to Falling Tide TV. Today, I'll be with my stepdad, Garrett, and his friend, and we'll be removing a honeybee hive for a client and safely relocating them to a bee box where the colony can continue to thrive and the honey can also be routinely harvested and enjoyed. I've never done anything like this before, so I'll be a sponge on this episode, soaking up as much information as I can about bees and passing on that information to you guys. I hope y'all enjoy. We have to cut this ceiling in between the ceiling and the top, which ain't a whole lot. It's probably, okay. so it can be jam packed with bees. Hmm. You have smoke. One over there with a the bees. Are. So that's wire you right here. Yeah. Well, how are we gonna get through that, Joe? Wire cutters. You brought some? No. Me neither. Now, this is a tough hive. Just to let you know. Ooh. A very tough one. Tough hive, huh? Yeah. It'd be tough to get. They find themselves a good spot. Yeah, I think mean, if we don't mess up the hive. That's good. This is break everything out of the way. I think we'll go pull it down. This is pretty cool. They not too happy. But I don't blame them. I'm sure it's usually a lot more elegant than this, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Some hives are real easy. Some are real hard. Yeah. This one seems a, little bit, a bit difficult. Well, they got the plastic pad. Yeah. So what's the goal here once you uh I'm looking for the hive. Mm -hmm. Oh you don't have any Which is right hive. here. It starts right here, it probably goes all the way across. Okay. See this is all bees. That looks like honeycomb. So my goal is to get to that hive and remove it. See I'm not sure. See the hive? Uh, yeah, that's hive already. That's all hive. It's real dark. Yeah. That might be so it's really been here for a long time. It looks like it goes all the way across. Good thing about bees, they're not gonna go nowhere. They're gonna stay here and try to protect. Like you said a while ago, this is their home. Yeah. And I'm in bees. See how dark, dark, dark the hive is? That means it's been there for a long time. Watch out on the face, huh? No one like lying Huh? We got near the queen, so they out here trying to keep us away from them. You see how dark it is here? Yeah. That's been there for a long time, like three years. And then over here, that's all your new stuff. That's where right. you got lots of honey. And then if you look real close in there, you're gonna see, you see them little mounds on there? Yeah. That's brood. So that should be around the brood area where the babies are born. Gotcha. And it's usually that's where the queen's at, but I think they moved her to there. They moved her because we were here? Yeah, because we made all that crazy noise. They thought something was coming in there to eat her. So what you gonna do with this vacuum thing? I'm gonna suck the bees up in it. You gonna suck the bees up in there? Yeah. What it is, I have holes drilled in it. Mm -hmm. See the holes? Yep. Well, what it does, it, it allows the air to be pulled in softly. Instead of like, you know, you can pick right. up a ball with it. This here, you can. It's barely gonna um, suck. Just enough to pull the bees in. You don't want to hurt them. Right. You don't want to kill them. Right. So that's what that's for. And then I tape it up. I untape it, and then I tape it up when I'm finished so they don't crawl out. All right. Okay, so now the fun begins. 
We start at one side and work our way down, removing each section of honeycomb one at a time, carefully vacuuming the bees into the vacuum cleaner, all while slowly sorting through them in search of the queen. Locating the queen is extremely important. She's literally the heart and the soul of the colony. They're only as strong as the queen, and without her, the rest of the colony cannot survive. A queen bee is chosen before she's even born. She will be given special treatment and a special diet provided by the colony in order to reach sexual maturity. She will be the only female in the whole colony with the ability to lay fertilized eggs. The queen is easily recognizable because her abdomen is quite larger than the other bees. Every worker bee is female as well. They're also the only bees with a stinger and the only bees that collect pollen and produce honey. Basically, this means that male bees, also known as drones, are really only good for two things, eating and mating. The sections of honeycomb where you see the holes are capped. Those are the brood. Those are the next generation of honeybees for this hive. It's important that we keep some of these for the bee box to ensure that the next generation of bees survive. Drones. I see a lot of drones. She should be around somewhere. I see you. I see you. I was about to say that. Right hey, I got the queen. You got her? Yeah, she needs to go to your. Um, huh? Oh, where's she at? Oh, there she is. She got wings too. I'm about to say, she looks like she has some tiny wings. It was about to swarm. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. I don't want her. Got her? She fell. Uh-uh. She's down there somewhere. You gotta look for her. Oh, no way. No oh, way. You gotta find her. Without her. I'm useless. Hey, you can pass me the light right here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we had and lost her. Well, we can put it over there. Maybe we'll get out of Queen. Put it in the box. Got the queen. In the box. Woo. That was a close one, y'all. We had her and dropped her, but luckily was able to recapture her. What's really fascinating to me is how I was able to find her. Just in the 60 seconds or so she was down there, there was already a cluster of bees building on top of her, trying to protect her at all costs. The loyalty these worker bees have to their queen is admirable to say the least. We safely got the queen into the bee box and ready for transport. Now the majority of the rest of the bees will follow her into the box and continue to protect her and their precious honey. This makes capturing the rest of the bees much easier. To put into perspective just how precious this honey is, consider this. A single worker bee's entire life's work is roughly a half a teaspoon of honey. Think about that next time you consume honey. Take the time and appreciate that. We emptied the vacuum into the box and we take a short break, rewarding ourselves in the form of the freshest and sweetest honey a man will ever have the privilege to eat. Do you want me to take a piece of it there? A piece of it. That's new honey. New honey? They just built it. We're going, we're going to do a taste test, this right? Is, yeah, yeah, this is pristine That's, honey. All right. This all is right, what new the honey. queens get. That's what the queen gets? This is what the workers get? That's what the workers produce. Produce, okay. Let's see. Don't don't swallow the wax. All right. Spit it back out. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. There's no better than fresh. That's wonderful. Wait till you hit that one. All right, let's try this one now. So it's deeper, money. darker. Money, yeah. Taste the difference? Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's like candy. Yes. 
That's mm. most most sickle loads in that. Oh yeah. And Lord have mercy. My sugar blood's going through the roof right now. <laughs> oh well. Ooh. Look at it dripping. Mm -hmm. Take another shot of insulin. Mm -hmm. It's dripping down my hand. Now you can chew the wax. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had I've had the, the the honeycomb before, just not this fresh. We got my pan mm. over it. Mmm. Man, look at them all around your, your boots. Yeah, I got honey on. <laughs> it's still flying all around us. Yeah. Oh, I see yeah. why. I see why bears risk everything mm. oh, yeah. <laughs> to eat honey. Why well, bears' coat is so thick? They can't yeah, they don't even it. get stung. Mm -hmm. Golly. It's everywhere. Yeah, huh? <laughs> you eat that right there, you may go in a coma. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> that right there is is the, the honey of all honey. Yeah, you get a little piece. That right there. Get, 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 get up. Alright, all right, let's see what happens when I chew on this one. I might die. You oh, gonna die. You gonna get cranked up though. Mmm. Now I can hear myself think. I know, huh? <laughs> now you can hear the I can hear the bees. bees Lord. Hey. Hmm. Y'all see a pile up on this um brood cone right here. Yeah, after the honey? I think they just on that brood cone. Oh, okay. Are they in the heads in there and they, they look like they're working? Hmm. <laughs> Bitch? Mm hmm. On the far here. This bitch is back there. I'm going to take a step back. <laughs> Try not to swat him, huh? <laughs> Yeah, he got hit by some bees in the head. Got a little swollen. <laughs> you gotta play the game to play the game. You gotta yeah. play. If you're gonna play the game, you get costs. What it looks like before we spin it. Some of we gotta squeeze. Then we come and we strain it with a strainer. Nice honey. Honey in the bucket. I'll filter it out, ready to be put in a jar. This is our actual spinner. Spinner. One is in the bottom. Sure, Spick it on the side and we'll drain it out here. Put it in the bucket, and then from the bucket we're gonna put it in jars. Bees are incredible. They're the great pollinators of the world. Matter of fact, there's scientists that believe that without bees, not even humans would be able to survive. Their importance to the ecosystem cannot be understated. Now, I don't know if bees are independently intelligent. Maybe they are. I have no idea. They certainly communicate at a high level. But collectively, I can't help but notice how brilliantly they operate. Every member of the colony selflessly contributing and doing their job as efficiently as possible all while pollinating the very plants that they utilize and many other animals and insects as well, ensuring that life is possible for everything up the food chain. I'm a firm believer that there's lessons in nature that are there just waiting for us to discover. What stood out to me today was the mentality of this colony. Like here we are destroying everything that they had worked for, invading their home, taking their entire life and turning it upside down. And through all of that adversity, if you take a look at any individual bee, there's no sign of giving up. It won't appear to feel sorry for itself. It's not going to abandon its colony to save itself. Nope. It's simply working. Whether that means protecting the queen or brood or rebuilding what's been lost. Without a second thought, it will put its head down and keep working. I can't help but appreciate that.
All right, boys and girls, this is what I ended up getting out of the adventure. Um, I didn't get stung by a bee today. That's a positive. I had a great time. That was uh, very interesting, I have to say. I'm about to enjoy myself a cup of Jack Daniels whiskey with a little bit of local harvested honey that I had a little part in myself today. Take about a spoonful of it and drop it on in there. I put it in there when it's room temperature because uh, if I put it in there when it's cold, it probably wouldn't even melt. Add a little bit of ice. That's good. Cheers.